Hey, what's up, After Buzzers? Welcome to another episode here of Spotlight On. I'm your host, Danny Royce, and I'm chilling in the studio with a very, very great child actor and superstar. You know her very well um, from This Is Us, Annie Pearson, Faith Herman. Don't move a muscle. You're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz What's up, After Buzzers? Welcome to here on the Spotlight On. I'm your host, Danny Royce. Joining us today, the beautiful Faith Herman. How you doing? Hi, I'm good. Good. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. We are all a very, I'm a huge fan of This Is Us, and I, I don't think there's anyone in the world that doesn't like this show. I mean, it's, it's an incredible show. It makes people cry. It makes people go through all different emotions. It's, it's incredible. And can you tell us, like, how it is for you, for you being Annie Pearson? Um, it means a lot. Um, I love playing Annie Pearson. I have so much fun playing the character of her. Um, she's very stylish. She's fun. And then um, I love her lines and... You love her lines, yeah. Yeah, she's funny. <laughs> you relate to her a lot and being a little yeah, girl yourself. Yeah, because we're both the youngest, and um, you have the the youngest of how many? Um, I have four siblings. Four siblings. I have four yeah. siblings. Oh wow! And the youngest too. Nice baby power. I love it. <laughs> um, so, how how do you get into a scene um, before you step on on set? How do you prepare for that? Well, usually I prepare with my mom or dad, and um, like we break up the scenes, and I say them over and over in my head so I can remember. And I'm glad I have really good memory, <laughs> nice. so it's pretty easy because I'm used to it now that I've been like learning a lot of lines. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. And so the family dynamics on the set of This Is Us, um, can you relate to it a lot with your family, having your dad being Sterling and your sisters and all that? Yeah, um, like there's like different problems like in the family and like when we have Thanksgiving and Christmas, how it is. <laughs> it's always a good yeah, time. Yeah, and it's a, a lot time. of us. <laughs> That's great. So um, you've also, you know, just booked something huge. So, oh, I'm sorry, Shazam, and uh, alongside Zachary Levy, and this movie is going to be coming out April 5th. So how was it for you when you found out that you booked that? What emotions were you going through? It meant a lot to me. I was so excited and happy. I was jumping up and down when my <laughs> mom told me. And um, because I've always dreamed in, of being in a superhero movie, and I've always said it to my mom and dad. So I was so excited. But we're still taping This Is Us. Mm -hmm. And Shazam was about to start taping in the early of January. So... Um, like, it was hard, like, to go to Toronto because that's where we taped it. So it was nice that Mr. Jeffrey and his team was able to work out my schedule to go to Toronto and tape Shazam. Yes. And I was so excited, and then we wrapped this as us. <laughs> How was being in Canada for you? It was so much fun because I got to go somewhere new, and um, I want to go back again. Yeah. That's so much fun. <laughs> it was a great experience. Was it as cold as they say? I got used to it being there because we were there for like a couple of months. So I got used to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so you are booming in the social media outlets right now. You know, over 56,000 followers, over 20,000 followers on Twitter. How important for you um, and to your fans to have that kind of uh, base and support? It's important because, like, I have a lot of fans, and I love reading their comments. It's very nice, and I love being, like, a role model to them and inspiring yeah. others, and they also inspire me, too. Yeah, I'm sure you, you inspire a lot of um, little black princesses out there. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to I go with the bow, though. I really want to just touch that because that's, like, your signature mark. So where is that from? Is it just something that you love in your hair? Like, it's... Yeah, I love wearing headbands yeah. and bows and flowers in my hair. It just adds a touch. <laughs> it adds a, it's like a little tiara, right? Yeah, <laughs> Your own tiara. tiara. Yeah. I love it. Um, and so you were named one of the 17 uh, black actors making waves at, at under uh, 17 and younger. Um, so you're only 11 years old, correct? And you have done so much so far. What propelled you to get into acting? What, what do you love about acting so much? What I love about acting is that you get to like do different things and work with a lot of amazing different people and um, 
and it's such a fun experience, like going to Toronto and taping This Is Us, and I've had so much fun, and I can't wait to do it more as I grow up. As you grow up, that's yeah. awesome. Do you have any, like, uh, goal? What is, what is the goal for you when you get older that you want to do? I want to do, like, a lot of things, like, um... <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to sing and stuff a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. Sing and dance, and you can do it all. <laughs> There's no stopping you. Yeah. Um, so uh, let's go back to Shazam and filming in Toronto. Uh, your character, Darla Dudley, um, can you relate to this character a little bit? Can you tell us a little bit about the character? Um, Darla is the youngest out of all the foster kids, and even though she's the littlest out of all of them, she's very protective of her family. She's talkative, which I'm, I talk a lot, too. <laughs> um, she's funny, and she's very kind, and I love her. That's awesome. And so you uh, attended some great events that some people would die to be in. <laughs> uh, where the SAG Awards, uh, you know, Emmy par after party. So you met a few people at the SAG Awards, right? Yeah. And um, one of those people were Michael B. Jordan. And so how did that go for you? Oh, I, when I watched Black Panther, I love that movie. I watched it with my sisters and everyone. And it was it was amazing meeting him. I was, like, so excited and starstruck. <laughs> starstruck? Yeah, what was your favorite part of uh, Black Panther? Because it was an incredible movie. Um, probably when they were, like, fighting and stuff. Yeah. And it, it's a cool movie. It is. It's an overall great movie. I love the, the battle scenes in there. It's amazing. What's, um, what's one of the actors that you look up to? You, that inspires you. Who really inspires me is Yara Shahidi. Yara Shahidi. Yeah. And why is that? Because she she's like a role model to me, and like she goes to college now, and she um, is an actress, so she balances it. And when I'm older, I want to do that. So you have like a good ed education, yeah. and you learn at the same time, and it's important. Yes. So it, you get to do both things. It definitely is important. Oh, as a uh, a child actor, um, your your parents play a big role in in your career, right? Yes. And so, how is it working with your parents and going through lines and stuff? It must be so exciting to have them, you know, be, be in your corner. Yeah, it is exciting, and they're always there for me That's and awesome. my sisters and. Um, yeah. That's awesome. Um, so you also have a, a commercial out right now with Subaru, right? Yes. And uh, the big day out uh, promoting the 2019 Subaru Accent. So how was it being on set for a commercial and, um, and the difference between that and being on set for a TV show? Um, it, was, it was a fun commercial because yeah. I played as a grandma. I learned how to play croquet. And, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. So it was a fun experience, and I love doing that commercial. That's awesome. And so that commercial um, is, is airing, and um, you've also worked with an incredible um, hip-hop artist, icon, Eminem. Uh, which produced the dramedy uh, Body, and you, you were alongside Colum Worthy and Rory Uphold. So how was that, working with him? Oh, that was cool, because um, I watched the show on Disney Channel, Austin and Allie. Uh -huh. So when I got to meet him in person, it was exciting, too. Yeah. And um, that was a fun scene. That was a, it had to be fun. <laughs> yeah, I worked with him. Yeah, yeah. so um, what would, what's one of your favorite shows out right now? Um, my favorite show would probably be on Netflix. It's called A Series of Unfortunate Events. Ah. It's like a, cre it's not really creepy, but it's like a, it's they okay. have like books. Yeah, You I like creepy it. stuff. It's okay. Yeah. We get it on. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. Uh, th yeah, that is a good, I actually watched that show as well. You so, do? yes. <laughs> so, that's a great show. Um, you were also featured in Hollywood Reporter's uh, Rep Sheet Round, so, a uh, roundup, I'm sorry. Um, how was that report? For you, that interview. Um, sorry, can you? Say no, the Hollywood Reporter. You were in there um, as a segment uh, for your interview. How was the last interview? It was good. It was good. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So every everything went well, and you kind of got warmed up to the mic in a little bit, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And so I got you here on your magazine, the Dance Mogul. Oprah was on this 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 um, cover. So how do you feel being on the cover of this? Oh, that was so much fun doing the shoot for it, and I'm, it's amazing that I'm on that cover. I love it so much. It's, it it's awesome. Yeah, it's got This Is Us and, and everything, uh, Annie yeah. Pearson. And I, I was looking through here, and I see that you really enjoy ballet. 
So when did you get into ballet? Um, I started doing ballet when I was eight. Seven. Um, I well, my cousin, my little cousin, she's a year younger than me. Um, she started doing ballet first, mm -hmm. and um, like, oh, that's fun. I want to do something different too. And um, I started doing ballet with her, and um, I had so much fun doing it with her. So then I learned like a little couple ballet moves, and then we did like a little show, which was fun. Awesome. Yeah. Do you see yourself performing in a in ballet and theater? Or? Anything like that on Broadway? Probably, yeah, I want to be in a Broadway show. You want to be on a Broadway show? Yeah. What's your favorite Broadway show right now? Um, Wicked. Wicked. Uh, yes, yeah. I love that. I love that show. I want to go see it so bad. <laughs> well, yeah, they were just here not too long ago in L.A. Um, and so your awards, so <laughs> which is incredible. I love it. Two-time uh, SAG Award winner, uh, outstanding performance in an ensemble and a drama uh, Glad Awards, a prime, like this is incredible. So where do you keep your awards? I keep them in the living room because yeah. it shows how much work that we all did and that I love to share it with my whole family. Oh, that's, oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> Am I watching an episode of This Is Us or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that was very heart touching. Um, so how, how heavy was that award, that SAG award? It was probably heavier than me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, who who carried that out for you? Because I don't know if you carried that the whole time. My dad helped me carry it. So, there you yeah. go. That great support. I love that. Um, so one last thing I wanted to cover with you um, is, you know, there's a lot of uh, small girls out there and younger girls, um, black girls who have this dream um, and want to pursue their art. And so can you just, just tell them one thing that just kind of will push them to do what they want to do and not hold back, just like you are? Yeah, because I always like dream really big, and I love acting. And um, like you could keep doing what you want to do and don't let anything stop you and how important it is to you. And yeah. I love that. I love that. Well, thank you so much for being with us here today. Thank we had you. a great time going over everything, and just you are amazing. And I wish you the best of luck. I'm going to be watching This Is Us, obviously, <laughs> and we're definitely going to be checking out Shazam. It's in theaters, everyone, April 5th, so definitely go check that out. And your Subaru commercial is going. Also, right here. Get your get your edition here, and it's a lot. It's a lot. I love it. Ballet, everything. You're just all Thank around you. incredible person, incredible incredible performer and Thank artist. You. Thank you so much for have uh, for being here, Faith. And after buzzers, this is uh, Danny Royce here. You can find me at I am Danny Royce. Also, Faith, where can they find you on social media? At Faith Herman. At Faith Herman on Twitter, Instagram, right? Yes. Okay, sounds good. So you can find her there, and you can find me at I am Danny Royce. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed here in are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.